Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Charles' law. Charles' law is the law where the pressure remains constant so that the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT, can now be written as V divided by T equals nR over P. This then being a constant, so we can then say that V can be written as the constant times T, the constant being nR divided by P. Now again, we have our linear equation that looks a lot like y equals mx plus b. And if this is here our y-axis, this here is our x-axis, you can see that the linear equations can be represented by different slopes. If we let b equal 0, since all the lines go to the origin, we can then say that y equals m1x, or y equals m2x, or y equals m3x. So the steepness of each of those lines it depends upon the value of the slope. The larger the slope, the steeper the line. Now here we're going to have what we call the VT diagram. Because the only two variables that can change are either the volume or the temperature. Now the way this is set up, notice that if you start at state 1 and then you go to state 2 by increasing the temperature, you'll have a proportional increase in the volume. If you double the temperature, you will double the volume because with Charles' law, the ratio of the volume to the temperature remains the same from one state to the next. And so, you double the volume, you must double the temperature because that ratio must remain a constant. The only thing that can change is that if the pressure increases, if P is larger, you'll have a smaller slope, and if P is smaller, you'll have a larger slope. That means when there is a small amount of pressure, as you increase the temperature, the volume will therefore increase by a greater proportion or greater amount. So that is how we can tell the difference between the PV, the PT, and the VT diagrams depending upon which of the laws we're dealing with, Boyle's law, Gay-Lussac's law, or Charles' law. Again, in each case you can see that there's always going to be a relationship that, that can be graphically represented in these various ways depending upon which of the laws we're dealing with, and that's how it's done. 